Welcome back to another Backpage Gaming video. Today we're looking at the man himself, it is Sadio Mane. We've got Rob with us. Hello. And we've also got Sam. Hello. So, just a quick reminder guys, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. We're only six away from 100 and we would be greatly appreciative if you did. And let's get into the review. So, as Jack says, we're looking at Sadio Mane. Both Jack and I have owned him for more than 10 games in Division 1. And I think Rob's used him on co-op. Yeah, so I just used him uh, just on Jack's account when he uh, when he packed Mane, Jack built a team. And I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. It looks pretty OP. So let's uh, let's have a go. So first of all, I'd say, like, when like when you bought him and that, I looked, looked at him on foot bin, see how he was. And he does look mental. Like, he just looks like Mbappe without the five-star skills. You think that's fair, saying that? For me, I haven't used both. Now. I use, I've used Mane for, uh, for about 40 games and Mbappe for about 60 now. And I'm going to say it now. Mane is basically Mbappe without the five-star skills. Like you said there, it is a perfect comparison. Those two are such a similar card. Both really good on ball, really fast, really good at shooting. He's, the only big difference, I don't know if you've noticed, is about a million coins less. Yeah, he's so a lot less Mane. You... <laughs> <laughs> yikes, that was rough. So if you're on a budget, I'd say definitely look towards Mane rather than Mbappe. What about you, Sam? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I thought he was brilliant. Um, I played him up top. The only thing I didn't like was um, some of the runs he made being like a bit off center and hard to find. But the pace, the shooting, everything, dribbling's great. Like, yeah, he's just a, like you say, cheaper Mbappe. Yeah, definitely. So, so getting to some of the positives that I thought the biggest one was how fast he was. I thought he felt even faster than Mbappe. Uh, even though he's got, I think, two less pace. Uh, the card is just so fast. He feels a lot lighter on the ball than Mbappe. Mbappe feels a lot stronger, I think, which is, I suppose, arguably better than, you know, to have in a striker. Uh, another thing, weirdly enough, is actually his weak foot. So, despite the fact that he's only got four-star weak foot, I think this is the best weak foot I've used in out of all the cards that we've used so far. Better than Aubameyang. Um, better than Aubameyang. Best, probably the best left foot I've used by far. Um... I don't know what you think, Sam, about this year. You know, how important do you think weak foot is? Uh, so, I'll start with saying, like, Mane's four-star weak foot is basically a five-star. Like, yeah. he finishes everything on it anyway. Um, but, like, this year compared to last, I think anything three-star weak foot and above, you know, you, it's worth taking the shot on. Like, especially, mm. you know, if it's, like, one-on-one -on -one finishes. Obviously, if it's, like, edge of the box distance and things like that and there's people in the way, maybe not, but... But like just your basic finishing chances. There's not a huge difference, is there? Yeah, you no, might as well yeah. just take it on. I don't think it's anywhere near like it has been in previous years. No, I think for like normal shots and maybe like low driven, I think it's fine. I think where you really start to see the three star weak foot and that is finesse shots. Yeah, agree. I think you can really Especially tell. outside the area. Yeah, definitely. I don't know what it is about finesse shots, but for some reason they on the weak spoon foot. Spoon them, don't they? Yeah, it's, they probably yeah. spoon them. And I suppose you tend to take finesse shots from slightly further away, I would say. Different and angles, like, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just sort of messes it up a bit weird. So, another thing I'd say is, he looks like he could play pretty much, if you're playing like a 4 2 3 one he could play cam, he could play wide, he could play striker. I suppose it depends like how much money you've got and who you're going to get in the other positions, but what would you say is he most suited to? Where would you play him? So... Like you saw in the Mbappe clips, him and Mane linked up amazingly well together. In I played four triple two for a lot of the weekend, and they both played striker, and they linked up so well. So if you yeah. put Mane next to somebody really quick, they'll just they can get in behind defenses. He, there was one clip I think where I even run past Varane, which is unheard of in yeah. this game. Um, but yeah, he's a really volatile. Volatile. He's also very volatile because he's very angry. Um, <laughs> angry in the dressing room. Yeah, but <laughs> he, he really gets stuck into them. But he's really versatile. I played him at Cam when I did move into a four-two-three-one to be a bit more defensive. Yeah. And then when I brought to Liskron, I'd shift him out to the right wing. So I've used him in all the positions, and he does the job in every single one. So if you are looking on for a winger, you know, that's only about three hundred k, he's gonna do some serious damage for you. Yeah. How was he Where at Cam? He... At Cam. Really good, so bear in mind he used a marksman, which doesn't improve his passing at all. Yeah. But he pulled off some really nice passes, really great to uh, get in the box with and do the RBA passes. That's uh, nice. Where did you play him, Sam? Where did you like him? Um, so I've played him, so if it's a 4-2-3-1, um, I've played him everywhere across the front four. 
um, and I've played him as a striker mostly. At striker, I'd probably say, for me personally, I'd only use him at striker in a two-striker formation. Yeah. Um, just for how I play. I couldn't really put my finger on it, but that's just how I felt. Um, yeah. I'd say, if you're asking me what what is his best position, I think it's a wide cam. Do you know if you get to the point of the game where you can actually afford to spend a bit more on those? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be insane out there. Like, yeah. like him and Rashford, maybe, or something. Yeah, like those type of players where at the minute they sort of your marquee signing, aren't they? So you've got to put yeah, them you don't want them where they get the most chance. There, yeah, yeah. But you think but he'll slot there nicely? That, yeah. When he gets to that point, that's going to be his strongest position, I think. Like just getting down the line and putting this sort of RBX and RBA balls yeah. across the box and things like that. I think you'll just tear teams apart. That's really good then. Yeah. So uh, thinking about my positives and negatives, I think obviously. Pace is one in it, like the, probably the biggest yeah. positive for me. <laughs> yeah, like He's fast. The guy, yeah, but like acceleration to top speed as well is that's the thing that sets him apart from just being like fast. Just fast, it's just, yeah. Just darts through little gaps and things, and and then the his second LB dribbling, positive. Sorry, just to jump in, but his LB yeah. dribbling, the speed of it is also insane. Like it's not just when it, like it's similar to what Sam said about Mbappe last video. It's not just his sprinting that's fast. Is his LB dribbling, is his skill moves, everything with Mane is fast. It's not what you want to wear if you're lady, but everything with him is fast. <laughs> yeah, um so you've so you've said LB dribbling then. Yes. Um he's the he's the first player I started to use just left stick dribbling this year. Um yeah. I think I got a bit carried away with the LB dribbling and RB dribbling. Mm. And yeah. just forgot to sometimes just left stick only. Just and winkle. Yeah, yeah, and he just sent people left like just people just parted like the Red Sea. It was brilliant. Um, it's not, it's not Victor Moses. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's put me off. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only downside, I'm trying to think if there is one. You know, I don't think if, there is. The, the only downside is those sort of weird runs he was making for me every now and then yeah. when I played him up top on his own. But I suppose I could, maybe if I played around with that, tactics play enough, about to say play him on stay central, stay central he might not do yeah. it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really experiment enough to know for definite that you yeah. could or couldn't get rid of it. But yeah. that is literally other than that, like there's no downsides. He's strong, no. fast, agile. That's it. Really, really good card. Probably the most. White worthwhile card I've used all year. Yeah. Because if you compare, consider that the only downside to Mbappe was his price. This card is basically Mbappe, but for a million coins less. Yeah. That's and good. speaking of coins, we'll move into the end card now. Is overall rating? We're giving it a ten because it is fantastic. He scored a lot of goals for me. Uh, value of coins is a ten. He's three hundred. Well, on uh, Xbox he was three thirty at the time of recording. And PlayStation about four hundred. And to get the numbers that I got. I can't complain. He's like, he he got more than Mbappe in you know like contributions that is. Yeah. So what what more can you say? That's why I think he's a ten. He's a great if you're looking for that marquee signing to get you those you know be that X factor signing. He is the one for you. Uh, best links we've gone for a Robertson. If you're playing a four five one, you want to hybrid it out. He's there. With Ronaldo, great as to link him to. And then if you need a you know a um, a nation link, Adrissa Garnage, not the worst one. Um, but to be honest, you could go for any Prem player you know there's, there's a lot of good prem players yeah. this year uh, as we see we talked about his skill moves really fast to pull off weak foot he feels like a five star best position striker probably second then is cam and then last is right wing i think that pretty much sums it up great card go and buy him so yeah that uh, brings us to the end anything else you want to say lads or you think you've covered no, everything so, yeah yeah it's just if you no. can afford him go out give him a try you've got the the back page game in seal of approval <laughs> um so yeah like jack said at the start we're only six away from 100 subscribers so make sure you subscribe got plenty more videos coming your way and uh, we'll see you in the next one see you later guys see you later